This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey, so cancer is a scary thing. And it seems that these days you can't like look in a magazine or read a paper, especially the Daily Mail, um, without seeing something that is now being reported as something that causes cancer. Um, it's all don't listen to it. Really though, don't listen to it. Just let it go. But there are things that we know that do cause cancer. And I'm going to break it all down for you a little bit. So I'm going to go with like the five main things that do cause cancer that we know that it's just undisputed it causes cancer. So not going to be in any order, but I would say the number one thing that you just, you just can't deny it that causes cancer and that is smoking. I know, right? Everybody knows it. I don't need to tell you that. It is the number one cause. I think like 9 out of 10 cases of lung cancer are caused by smoking. Of course, if you smoke, you can smoke all your life and not get cancer, but it is going to increase your risk by a crap ton percent. So don't do it. It's on the little like cigarette boxes and everything. Like you can see what your lung could look like. Your lungs do go black. May not cause cancer, but it looks gross. Number two is going to be, this isn't in any order by the way of like severity or increased risk but number two is gonna be excessive alcohol consumption and um already this is becoming a list of how to be uncool i know i'm sorry but it is what it is so ec excessive alcohol consumption it can cause a big ton of different kinds of cancer including um colon cancer stomach cancer mouth cancer throat cancer all the good GI tract cancers um, can also cause um, breast cancer in women. This is because there is a link with um, excessive alcohol consumption and an increase in estrogen. And as you may know, estrogen are increased in estrogen levels can cause breast cancer. And then we have number three, which is definitely a continuation of my list of, well, this is now just a list of how to be uncool. And that is unprotected sex. Yes, sex can cause cancer. In particular, it can cause cervical cancer. Um, and this is through infection with HPV or human papillomavirus. Um, it's something that, oh, there is a vaccine against it. I just remember there is a vaccine against it. And this is offered to young girls, um, hopefully before they've started, you know, doing it. Hopefully young enough, but um, yeah, so you can get infected with HPV. Hey, just because you get an infection doesn't mean you're going to get cancer, um, but it is something that does cause cervical cancer. Type 16 and 18 are the most common types of HPV infection that can cause cancer. So HPV infections are quite common. Apparently, 8 out of 10 women in the UK have had a HPV infection at some point in their lives. Um, I probably have, maybe hope not but you can have like no symptoms at all and it can go away by itself so it's kind of something not really to worry about but also just be safe yeah i know i'm like your uncool aunt don't drink don't smoke don't have sex don't have unprotected sex you will get pregnant and you will die number four on my list of how to be uncool is of course don't sunbathe don't look beautiful and tanned don't look like a goddess oh so beautiful um, yeah, I don't really agree with, I was reading on Macmillan's website, let me just go back to it, um, they said, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, take care in the sun, macmillan.org have said, they've got a little, um, how to reduce your risk of cancer article that I will link down below, but um, they've got a section on take care in the sun. It says spending some time outside in the sun helps you stay healthy. Our bodies use the UVB rays and sunlight to make vitamin D and you do need vitamin D and you do need the other types of vitamin D, but be safe with that. Like I said, you don't wanna get HPV infection, right? So this is important for bone health, right? And reduces the risk of many illnesses, including cancer. But it also is important to protect your skin from burning as this can increase your risk of skin cancers. And now this is the bit that I don't really agree with. If you're gonna be out in the sun for longer than a few minutes, a few minutes 
use a sunscreen with a sun protection factor or SPF of at least 30. I don't know anyone who's going to bother doing that. I don't know why you would bother advising that because everyone's different. Everyone's skin is different. The amount of time that someone can stay in the sun is different without getting burnt. Um, also, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on covering myself and looking like Casper with factor 30 and sticky and unnecessary a lot of the time. But just be safe. Put on... I always wear like SPF 15 on my face every day just because it's like built in into my moisturizer anyways. I'm lazy like that. But I always put on like 30 or 50 on my shoulders and anywhere else that's like super exposed when it is really hot outside and I know I'm going to burn if I don't. So just be, just be smart about it. You don't have to be uncool. Just be smart about it. Just be smart about it. And then number five is going to be um, a funny one because I just spotted it on the macmillan.org website and this is again I'll remind you is like a how to reduce your risk of cancer article and one of the biggest risk factors it says is age and I uh, how can you do anything about that macmillan I'm sorry but stop it it's just a list of it really is a list of like how to be uncool now or just a list of things that uncool people are or do don't smoke, don't drink, don't have sex, unprotected sex. Don't go out in the sun and look like a beautiful goddess. And also don't get old. That's all you can do now. Don't get old. Jesus Christ. How uncool of you. It's a hard list. Okay, so it is a hard list. It's a hard list of things to follow. Um, I would say number one, don't smoke. Try not to start. I know it's really easy for me to say you shouldn't smoke when I'm not someone who smokes and I don't know what it's like to quit, but I don't care, try. For Jesus Christ's sake, try for yourself and your own health and well-being. Number two, um, drinking. You don't have to do it excessively. I know that it's kind of hard not to drink in a society where it's kind of like frowned upon if you don't drink and it's like you're really weird and uncool if you don't drink. So I do have a drink every now and again, just because I don't really like it. I don't like the taste of it. I just do it because everyone else does it and I'm an absolute sheep like that. But sometimes I'm just like, nah, I don't, I, uh, nah, I got work tomorrow. Nah, I'm drinking. That's, oh, no, nah, nah, I'm driving. Driving is a good excuse not to drink. If you go to like a pub with your friends and you're like, don't really feel like drinking tonight. Don't really want to spend crap loads of money on drink. <coughs> just say you're driving, you drove there. Even if it's like five minutes from your house, just say, oh yeah, I drove here. Done. Sorted. Yeah, so, just reduce the amount of alcohol you drink. You don't need it in your life. You really don't. You can drink, there's a whole tunch, tunch, there's a whole bunch of other um, drinks that you can have when you're out and about. It doesn't have to be alcoholic. It's bad for you. It's literal, literal, literal poison and your liver will hunt you for it. Number three was, oh yeah, poking unprotectedly, unprotectedly. Don't poke unprotectedly. That is my message for my PSA today. Don't poke unprotectedly. Tell your friends. Number four, just be safe in the sun. If you know you're gonna burn, put on sunscreen. You don't have to look like a crazy person with a big hat and the like white linen clothes that you see sometimes. Just be safe. And number five, don't get old. Okay, so thank you for watching me. I really appreciate it. I'm a big loser. I do follow all the rules on the list I just gave you. But I am uncool because I follow all the don't get cancer um, advice. Except I am getting old. I'm getting older every day. I'm sorry, Macmillan, but I can't help it. Um, but yeah, don't come to me for cool advice. But I'm lucky enough that the people over at Brilliant dot org do think that I'm cool and they've given me a nice little tidy present of giving you all 20% off an annual premium subscription thanks to the first 200 people to get on down to that link below we'll get it brilliant is a really decent resource for learning new things if you go to their website you will find a whole ton of resources for learning things like physics and computer science and all sorts of smart things that I still I, I'm still too stupid to understand it but I'm trying my best and they're helping me and that's awesome. 
So you should go check them out by following the link below. Sign up for free, get your 20% off. First 200 people, get on it quick. Quick. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. Bye.